Welcome to today's rough study of realities, written by Pastor Chris Oyahilome, Monday, 14th September 2020. He wants your heart. My son, give me the heart and let the eyes observe my ways. Proverbs chapter 23, verse 26. People are the same, irrespective of their conviction. That is to say, the poor and the rich, for example, are exactly the same, except there is a transformation in their hearts. If a man is poor and wicked, he won't be different when he becomes rich. Why poor? He doesn't have the resources to carry out the wickedness in his heart. So, when he becomes rich, he is able to prosecute the wickedness in his heart with his resources. Money amplifies character. People only carry out the good or bad in their heart, depending on their resources. Jesus said, either make the tree good and his fruit good, or else make the tree corrupt and his fruit corrupt. Matthew chapter 12 verse 33. This means people aren't different from how they are inside. So, what does God want? He wants a change in your heart, a transformation inside. That is why He set up His kingdom first in your heart. He puts His love first in your heart. Your heart is where He seeks to work. That is where all His blessings are. Then from your heart, they flow out to others. Being born again, you have the life and nature of God in your heart. And now in Christ, you are a life giver. The transformation and glory evident in your soul and body are the results of the impact and influence of the life and nature of God in your spirit. In our team verse, he says, My son, give me thy heart. If you've never been born again, this is your moment. Give him your heart. Turn to the prayer of salvation. Page, at the back of this page of this devotional, the prayer of salvation. Say after me, O Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I believe he died for me and God raised him from the dead. I believe he's alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Through him and his name, I have eternal life. I am born again. Thank you, Lord for saving my soul. I am now a child of God. Hallelujah. You have been born again. Prayer Dear Father, thank you for setting up your kingdom in my heart. With my heart, I envision and apprehend the realities of the gospel and of our kingdom life. I pray for the unsaved around the world 
that their hearts be open to receive the gospel and be saved, that your power for salvation will mantle their hearts, even now, in Jesus' name. Amen. Further study, Luke chapter 6, verse 45, Hebrews chapter 10, verse 22. Meditate on these words. Give yourself wholly to them, that your profiting may appear unto all. Have a blessed day.